have done this from the beginning, but uh, now I have all the uh, frequently asked questions and everything that most people ask, so hopefully uh, that will help everybody out. Um, these uh, brow bands come in 4 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and 10 millimeter channel channels, channel widths, and uh, they are available in 15 inch, 16 inch, 17 inch, and 18 inch. Um, everybody asks me what size brow band should I get. Um, it's best to measure end to end your current brow band that you use, um, and that that is the best indicator of what size. So if yours measures 15 inch from here to here, then that is a 15 inch brow band or cob size. Um, and everybody asks me what channel size they should get. Um, this is a four millimeter channel, and these are four millimeter um, crystals in the channel. Um, so I, I really like this size because it's not too big and bulky on fine faced horses. The next channel size up is six millimeter, and this is an example of the six millimeter channel. Um, these are six millimeter pearl beads, um, and uh, that's a really good size. It, it looks really nice. Uh, this is an eight millimeter channel, and uh, these work really well with square beads that lie flat against it, and you can do a lot of different things with that size. Um, so my belts, um, in only eight millimeter channels, so that makes them pretty versatile. Um, and my halters as well only come in eight millimeter channels. Uh, the, the 10 millimeter is the biggest size, and it, it looks pretty nice with square beads. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it. So yeah, those are pretty much the sizes. Um, this is a six millimeter channel with two rows of crystals in it. Um, these crystals are three millimeters, so that's, that looks like a nice size. Not too big, not too small. So um, I'm going to explain how I go about sewing the beads to the channels. I use, um, from Walmart, you can get fishing line. This is 12 pound fishing line. I think there's 15 pound, that's a good size to use. 20 pound, you start getting a little bit too thick and it's hard to work with. But I wouldn't use anything smaller than 12 pound. Um, these are Olsen Hagar needle holders. And um, you can get these on eBay as well for about $10. Uh, they have scissors um, right here to cut the string with. These have uh, tungsten carbide tips, so it uh, grabs onto the needle really well. Um, so you'll definitely want to get needle holders with uh, tungsten carbide tips. Um, you can search for T backslash C, uh, Olsen Hager needle holders on eBay. And these are the Glover's needles that you use to sew with. They have um, a triangular tip that cuts through the leather. These are size three needles. and. Uh, they are available on eBay as well. These are John James. Um, these ones, they're pretty, they don't bend very well, um, so they'll snap um, if you put an, the pressure on the wrong way. Um, there's another brand that you can get at uh, Ben Franklin's, and it comes in a pack of three with three different needle sizes, and those work really well. Um, they bend a little bit more, but these are really inexpensive. Okay, so these beads are actually, um, they're called Malachite Green, um, and I got them on eBay. These little silver beads in here are um, crystal rondelles. They are uh, six millimeter Swarovski crystal rondelles that I got on eBay as well. Um, these are about $8 for 100, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, these beads are all six millimeters in diameter, and they fit the six millimeter channel really well. So to get started, you thread your needle onto the end of your string. You try to knot in it to keep from losing the beads. needle holders and then I shoot 
kind of for the corner, for the middle of the channel, and then going out towards the corner, you can bend the soft um, leather padding back and push it through so it goes in between the hard leather on top and the soft le leather on the bottom. Sometimes you have to try a couple of times to get the angle right. There we go. And then you pass it back through across to the other side of the brow band. So you have a loop at one end, pull your end through, and then go back through to the side that the loop is on. tie and knot with your loop and your other string right here. Let's tie several times for security. your end and your loop. And since you don't want this big knot hanging out at the end of your bra band, you can thread your string, all three pieces through your needle. This eye might be too small. the knot tight against the brow band so it's hidden and you can even put a little bit of glue right there if you need to but this one I don't think I'll need to. You can grab another needle holder or the king stat here. And twist to stretch the ends. along the edge. And you can see that I left a little bit of gap here. You're not going to get your beads perfectly to the end and that's okay if you have a little bit extra or not enough. Not enough is probably the better way to go because then you can um, space out your beads um, if you need to. And all these brow bands have one and a half inch bridal loops, so they do fit padded crown bridles and double bridles really well. I'll do the same thing on the other side. If I had a long enough string, I could just start uh, going sewing back and forth over my beads, but I didn't have a long enough string at this time, so I'm just going to tie off this end and then pass. 
pass this through here. So I have a loop. Pass my needle back through again in between the top part, hard part of the leather and the soft part of the leather. fishing line is really stretchy so um, it doesn't matter if you make it a little bit too tight. this, twist the ends so that they stretch. Cut. The ends bounce back underneath the bra band and hide. Cool. And I have my beads on there and then we'll just sew them so that they're flush with the brow band. So I just go in between the bottom leather and the top leather over the beads and then back through. Push my needle through there. And what I'll do is I'll go on either side of the column beads. You just got to be careful not to break your beads accidentally. Pushing your needle through. And then you can continue down the brow band between the padding and the top leather. really fun and relaxing. And these brow bands sell really well on eBay or at your local horse show. It's a pretty good return on investment because the raw materials going into this was not very much and these can sell for around $100.
The broadband itself is currently $22.95 from Delfina Saddlery. These beads total probably cost about $10 or so. And you can make a matching dog collar, belt, halter. These brow bands from Delphine Saddlery are really the best quality channel brow bands that there are. They come from a factory that makes top European brands. It's really soft, supple leather. I've had some of these brow bands for five years and, and they look good as new. to just go all the way to the end and then once you reach the end you'll just tie a knot just like you did at the beginning now this knot sticking up here you do the same thing as you did to start the brow band to secure the strand in place put your the end of the string through your needle and then push it to the end of the brow band. Pull the knot through underneath. Twist and cut. It's nice and smooth. to it. you understand that. Other beads you can use instead are these slider beads. Um, these come from primitive earth beads. They have two holes on each side and you strand your fishing line through each hole and then they just go along with your brow band like this. These would fit a 10 millimeter channel really well. There's all sorts of different styles you can use. I really like the slider beads. They're really dramatic. And you just bead the same way that you did with the other strand. But you have two strands. So it's kind of a lot easier actually with the two strands. Um, there's also the abalone beads you can use. These are from eBay. And they're just, there's eight millimeter and there's 10 millimeter abalone beads. Um, and you can pair them with some purple beads if you want. That one's kind of funky. There's all sorts of different colors on eBay. And then there's these silver beads too that can go along with it. So just all different sizes. If you don't really like beads, you can do the rhinestones, and I got these from Las Vegas rhinestones. They're really shiny and really dramatic. You can do multiple rows of these and create a really cool effect. 